Hello friends this is me Monica Sharma and welcome to MS Bio Academy today we are back with a yet another uh, lesson of recent findings uh, on one of the women a scotland woman that uh, she's now today 71 years old and she has never ever felt any pain in her entire life yes this is the latest finding which has just come up last week and scientist has uh, come up with uh, one of the mutation which is there in her genome which is a far far out gene and micro deletion so we are going to talk about this only in this particular video and yes there is a one saying that mard ko dard nahi hota but this is the first time we are hearing that aurat ko dard nahi hota yes in her entire life of 71 years she has never felt a pain not even by a single cut in a um, in her finger not even a major injuries or a surgeries after post surgeries also she has never felt a pain so what is so different uh, in this woman from other human beings let's talk about this so before that just imagine that if you suffer no pain in your entire life how good it would be just imagine that we will keep on smiling just imagine that if our children will never feel any pain in their life even though they get hurt a lot if we have heard that most of the children many a times in their life and also we we have a, a hurt a lot during our childhood days right every time every single day we get hurt so we always keep on crying and our children are crying so just imagine if there is no pain because of pain only we normally cry is right because we feel pain uh, whenever we get hurt now if there is no pain we will not feel any uh, cry or any we'll keep on smiling just imagine how happy world it would be right there will be a no fear no anxiety how good that would be wow such a happy life isn't it Yes, this has happened with one of the Scotland women named Jo Cameron. She is Jo Cameron, and she is seventy-one years old. And this uh, uh, of her findings has been published recently on twenty-six March two thousand nineteen in British Journal of Anaesthesia, and it has been found that in her entire life she went without any. pains yes she was free from all the pain and fear and anxiety in her life and uh, this has made curious to all the scientists and the doctors that what is so different in her that uh, she has never felt any pain anxiety or fear in her life so they have uh, started so studying uh, her genome uh, the genetic study they have started and uh, they come up with uh, some of the findings that there certain kind of a mutation is there in her genome so we are going to talk about that in detail but before that let me tell you that how the doctors came to know at the age of 71 years that uh, even she came to know at the age of 71 years that she has not she realized that she has not suffered any she has not felt any pain in her entire life so how did this all come up what happened is one day uh, at the age of 67 years she went to a doctor uh, for her orthopedic hand surgery yes so normally this surgery orthopedic hand surgery this is a very painful surgery so uh, post surgery is normally the patients needs to take certain kind of analgesics right the painkillers they need to take certain kind of analgesic or painkillers for uh, getting rid of all those post surgery pains but uh, this was very surprising to the doctors that uh, Uh, even though after this painful orthopedic hand surgery jo cameron never demanded for any sort of analgesic or any sort of pain killers from the doctors neither doctors gave her right so this was really surprising for the doctors that uh, how come a uh, uh, lady uh, even though she is at this age of some 67 years she is not demanding for any pain killers so this was really surprising uh, so they started uh, Uh, inquiring about it by asking lots of questions from uh, about the past life of Joe Cameron, and uh, then they came to know that Joe Cameron told uh, uh, them that. Uh, she has never suffered any kind of a pain even due to a uh, normal cuts or any kind of uh, injuries during her entire life also uh, once at the age of 65 years uh, she uh, uh, she had a one hip transplant surgery happen and uh, she at that time also she never took any analgesic uh, after the surgery or uh, she has never felt uh, 
even prior to that any kind of a pain in her body right even though whenever she got any burn in her body uh, uh during the early times she never felt any pain due to all those burns she used to see that burning uh, skin only by the smell of her uh, skin burning right so uh, even if she has any cuts her husband used to say that uh, there is a cut in her uh, in your body and the blood is uh, oozing out so that's how she used to realize it but never she ever she felt any pain so there is a certain kind of a pain in sensitivity is there in her body right so this has uh, made uh, uh, the scientists and the researchers so curious to study uh, her genome and uh, finally these uh, uh, doctors and the researchers they came to know that there is certain kind of a mutation is present in her genome or in her dna so what is that mutation is happening in which gene uh, let's talk about that now so they have studied the karyotype and finally they came to know that in the chromosome number 1 so if you look at the in this picture this is a chromosome number 1 and if i zoom it here so and this chromosome number 1 at this particular position in the genome that is in the p arm the short arm of the chromosome if you see this position the p33 at this region there is a, a genes are present which are known as the fa genes and the fa out genes so they found that there is certain kind of a mutations or the micro deletion is happening in this particular region of a gene okay so that is leading to this pain insensitiveness in jo cambron so what is it all this so uh, if i'll say the chromosomal location of a gene this is a heterogeneity location is the 1 p33 as you can say okay one means chromosome number 1 on the p uh, that is the short arm of the chromosome at location 33 so that's how you can write 1 p33 and if i talk about the molecular location so it is at the base pair this to this on chromosome number 1 right so this is a specific position where this uh, 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 gene is located where this gene is located in which the mutation is happening so what is this gene is about this gene is a fa gene so fa gene is basically a gene which is responsible for coding uh, the enzyme known as fatty acid amide hydrolase okay so this enzyme is basically a member of a serine hydrolase and family member of enzyme and uh, they are mainly responsible for the hydrolysis of certain primary and secondary fatty acids including the anandamide okay anan demides so anandamides if you know this is a bliss molecule this is also known as a bliss molecule also this is a, a kind of a neurotransmitter you can say right so they are mainly the neuromodulator compounds and uh, mainly they uh, been broken down by all these fa enzymes right so uh, when they broke down into a fa uh, by the fa enzymes uh, uh, so what will happen uh, there is certain kind of a receptors are present these receptors are known as cannabinoid receptors cannon canne binoid canne binoid receptors okay if you uh, have uh, uh, heard about these cannabinoid receptors these are mainly being activated they are also being activated by marijuana drugs right so uh, what happen is when they bind to these uh, cannabinoid receptors these cannabinoid receptors are mainly uh, involved in the endocannabinoid signaling system so they are mainly the major you can say this is a major signaling system which is uh, uh, perform a wide array of uh, uh homeostatic functions in uh, specifically in brains also in certain kind of a peripheral tissues but specifically in brain and they are mainly responsible for the pain perception in our body right so uh, so they are mainly responsible for pain perception i'm saying so you will feel pain due to the signaling pathway which happens due to cannabinoid receptors and the ligands endogenous ligands mm. right so we are saying that there is a gene fa gene which is responsible for this particular enzyme to be formed and this enzyme is mainly breaking down all these anandamides into a simpler forms right uh, right or you can say uh, they are uh, breaking down into certain acids okay so what happen is fa gene is involved you can say that fa gene is mainly involved in the pain sensation mood and memories now just adjacent to this fa gene if you see that this is a dna and this is the fa gene right on chromosome number 
at position number P33. Let's suppose this is position number P33, this whole thing, right? So this is a far gene which is actually coding for this particular enzyme, right? And just adjacent to this, some 20 kb away, there is a one more gene which is present, which is known as a far out gene. Okay, this is this far out gene is basically a pseudo gene. Now, why this is called as a pseudo gene? Pseudo means false gene. Why? Because this is normally is uh, transcribing an RNA. This is this gene is forming an RNA, but this RNA is not forming any sort of protein any sort of functional protein they are not forming so basically this far out gene has no functional roles right because it is not coding for any functional protein although it is coding for an rna but it is not coding for any functional protein so that's why they are called as a pseudo genes but this pseudo gene uh, what scientists has found uh, when they were studying the joe cameron genome what they found is that there is certain kind of a micro deletion is there in the FAUD gene. And this micro deletion is actually what it is doing. It is affecting the function of the FAR gene. Right. So the function of the FAR gene is what? To encode this enzyme. If this function is being altered, that means this enzyme encoding, this protein is not being coded by this FAR gene. Right. Since this is not being coded by the FAR gene, so what will happen? This anandamide is will not be broken down, right? So the level of anandamides will keep on increasing in the peripheral circulations. So this is what they have found by studying the uh, concentration levels of the anandamides in the Joe Cameron blood circulation. What they have found is there is a high level of anandamides are found in the Joe Cameron blood circulation. So this shows that this micro deletion of the FAU genes actually affecting the FAR genes and which is responsible for the pain insensitiveness in the Joe Cameron. Right. So this is the main finding. So mutation in the far out gene is the one which has been detected because earlier the far out gene was not known and uh, it was uh, not being uh, known that uh, this is mainly also responsible for the pain sensations, right? So uh, they have found that there is a micro deletion which removes the promoter and the first two exons of the far out gene. And due to this micro deletion, this affects the function of the far gene also which uh, leads to the high level of anandamides in the blood circulation in the peripheral blood and uh, these we know that these anandamides are uh, uh, involved in this uh, uh, binding with the cannabinoid receptors the signaling thing will not happen and since the signaling pathway is required for the pain perception since signaling is not happening here there is a termination of the signal uh, signaling function uh, by these molecules so uh, what will happen there will be a pain insensitiveness is uh, being seen in case of a Joe Cameron genome body right so this is how uh, what the findings uh, uh, from the study of the Joe Cameron genome came now what is the outcome is uh, of the study that uh, why it is so important uh, see uh, there are certain patients you have seen that uh, after the surgery they suffer a lot of acute crone and a chronic uh, chronic pain sorry acute pain and a chronic pain after post surgeries or you have seen certain cancer patients that uh, they go through all these uh, treatments which are very painful to them right so uh, what doctors have done is uh, doctors have uh, uh, even the scientists what researchers have done they have uh, developed earlier certain kind of a far inhibitor analgesic drug because earlier it was known that far gene is mainly responsible for the uh, pain sensation for mood and for memory so what they have do is they have targeted earlier the far gene for developing the inhibitor analgesic far inhibitor analgesic drug but what happened is they uh, there were certain many failures happens okay during the trial of this far inhibitor analgesic drugs so uh, earlier it was not known that FAU gene is also have an importance in the pain sensation but after the joe cameron study now doctors and the scientists they have come to know that there is an importance of the FAU gene is also there in the pain sensation so now what scientists can do is they can focus instead of on the far inhibitor analgesic they can focus on the far out gene right they can focus on by targeting the FAUD gene and they can develop certain kind of these wonder drugs so that uh, the better way 
or uh, the best way of dealing with all these chronic pains can uh, the drugs can be made right so this is the outcome which came and yes a uh, lot of research will be going on and uh, it will go on for a uh, couple of years it will take time to develop this uh, thing but yes this has given a little bit of uh, details about uh, the uh, future wonder drug which can which can be come up which can come up after the joe cameron uh, case study right so the advantage is that uh, uh, of developing such kind of wonder drug is that it can be used for uh, dealing with the certain kind of acute and the chronic pains uh, in certain patients after post surgeries also we have found that uh, many americans some 100 american die daily from the opioid overdoses opioids is mainly a pain killers so due to the overdoses of the pain killers it has been found that many americans are getting die so if this uh, wonder drug is will come up which will target the fout gene so this uh, overdose uses of the opioid will be ruled out and hence the many lives can be saved right also it can be used as a wonder drug to treat surgical patients or those with the cancer or the chronic pain so cancer patients as i have told you already that they suffer lots of painful treatment therapies so if this wonder drug comes that painful therapy treatment therapy that pain which they suffer during their treatment period can be uh, we can just remove that to lot of extent and that will uh, lead to a better life of all those patients during the treatment process right so yes there is a lot of advantage but yes one there is one disadvantage of that is that uh, as depicted by dr james cox who is a senior lecturer at the walls Wolfson Institute of Biomedical Research at University College London he said that uh, pain is an essential warning system to protect you from damaging and life threatening events yes pain is basically an alarming system of our body that yes there is something wrong inside our body which is happening if there is no pain we will never realize that in our body certain kind of a disease is generating or certain kind of a uh, something wrong is happening inside the body right so pain is really essential because this is kind of a response or this is kind of an alarm to our uh, body that uh, yes you should uh, visit a doctor and get the treatment done right just imagine if you get a cut somewhere and you will not realize because only because after a pain only we realize that this part of a body is having some kind of a, a cut or an injury but if there is no pain we will never realize that which part of a body is actually uh, the blood is oozing out from it or there is some certain kind of infection is happening there so that will lead to uh, some other kind of a uh, problems in our thing life right so this is the one of the disadvantage but yes if we can use this wonder drug we can develop this wonder drug or uh, uh, which can deal with this uh, kind of a pain insensitiveness for all those uh, uh, patients in all those patients who are uh, going through this cancer uh treatment or all those who are uh, dealing uh, if we can use these drugs for the post surgery chronic pains or certain other kinds of chronic pains yes this can be used in a very uh, this findings can be or this research can be a, a really a great discovery so that's all for uh, the details about this latest finding so thank you so much for watching my lesson if you like it please do subscribe for my channel which is ms bio academy and please do share with all your friends and let me know in the comment section down below so thank you so much for watching bye for now see you in the next lesson